There you go, guys. Qualifying for the Dutch Grand Prix has begun. And thankfully, after last week's washout at Spa, no need to wor worry about the weather radar because it is clear, sunny, a beautiful day at Zandvoort. And hopefully, we're going to have a very, very exciting session and something worth watching. Something, hopefully, to make up for what happened at Spa. So, with... Just over two and a half minutes to go in the drop zone. Lance Stroll, Daniel Ricciardo, Mick Schumacher, Robert Kubica and Nikita Mazepin. Stroll doesn't seem to really have the pace, but Daniel Ricciardo has to get out of the drop zone. Cannot afford to get knocked out and have such a poor result. He has to get out of 17th position somehow, some way in these final couple minutes. Now, Ricciardo is on track. Thankfully for his fans and the team on the soft compound ties now overtaking some cars to try and get himself um, more up the circuit and ahead of the traffic as Ricardo is, I think, now in the uh, second half of the lap on this outlap. As really, I would say if Aston Martin aren't really going again, I think Aston Martin... They might, I think Aston Martin are still at a very high risk of getting both cars knocked out here, especially if Daniel Ricciardo can climb his way out of the drop zone. As I think, is that Ricciardo? No, that's now Lando Norris. We're, oh no, that is Ricciardo now coming into turn 13 and now enters the pit straight. And Daniel Ricciardo starts his final lap in Q1. Can Daniel get out and into the second part? He has to for McLaren. They desperately need him up there in their fight for third in the Constructors' Championship. Let's see what he does. Through turn three now, takes a very wide line as you normally do. And now swings his way through turn four, five, and six. Let's see what his first sector time is compared to Antonio Giovinazzi. Not quite good enough. At the moment, two hundredths of a second down. And Giovinazzi does a purple first sector. The so Ricardo's going to have to do a very, very good middle and final sector here. He's going to get into Q2. As Ricardo now. DRS open in between turn 10 and 11. Now comes down to the second sector time beam. And he's three and a half tenths up. So this is a lot more like it from Ricardo. As Sebastian Vettel, by the way, has pitted. As Charles Leclerc goes P1 by two tenths of a second. We'll update that in just a moment. As Ricardo, as Sainz now goes second. Ricardo now comes to the line. And Daniel Ricardo is in to the next part of qualifying. And Antonio Giovinazzi comes to the line and goes P4 in the Alfa Romeo. Robert Kubica. He goes 18th, so he is out in the Alfa Romeo. No big surprise there. Yuki Tsunoda goes P11. Lance Stroll is in 17th place. Esteban Ocon is currently in the drop zone. We'll just update that in just a moment. And Stroll goes P11, so Sebastian Vettel is knocked out. And Ocon goes up to 6, so Norris is out. At the moment, Sergio Perez has... Uh, finished his run and Norris goes 15th. So Sergio Perez will update it in just a moment. Sergio Perez is out in Q1 in the Red Bull. So Perez, I think he went out for a lap. I'm pretty sure he did. And then decided pretty much to, to not bother. So there you go. So knocked out guys in Q1 at the end of Q1. Big surprise, two big surprises really. Sergio Perez in the Red Bull, that's a massive shock and a massive blow to Red Bull here in qualifying, down in 16th place. Sebastian Vettel also knocked out in 17th. Robert Kubitz on his return to Formula 1 out in 18th. And then the two horses knocked out in 19th and 20th, Schumacher and Mazepin respectively. But now Q2 is underway. And now we're going to get to see if there's any more big scalps to be eliminated in qualifying two in between positions 11 and 15. Let's see what Latifi's like. Latifi is seven hundredths off 
The thing is, though, Latifi will be able to go for another run. Oh, no, he won't, as George Russell has spun off on the entry to turn 13, and he's in the wall, and it's a red flag. Q2 is back underway right now. So there you go. Q2 back underway, and pretty much now all of the cars coming on track, and we'll now see whether those in the drop zone can find their way out. And he is a tenth of a second down on Giovinazzi through the first sector. Oh, and Latifi spun off and into the barriers. And that is pretty much session over. Or is it? Um, well, we might actually still get some running in this session. But uh, Latifi, big spin there. And the session will not be resumed. The session not going to be resumed, even though there is technically enough time left to to do an outlap and then do a flying lap. So that is a that's quite a surprise that they've called that. But there you go. So that is Q2, guys. And out in Q2, George Russell, Lance Stroll, a massive surprise in Lando Norris out in 13th place. 14th Latifi, who crashes out in 14th. And then 15th, Yuki Tsunoda in the Alpha Tauri. And there you go. Q3, guys, after a bit of a delay, has finally begun. And let's see if the home favourite Max Verstappen can indeed get pole position and whether the Mercedes can avoid being upset by a Ferrari, an Alpha Tauri, or even a McLaren in this session. And now, Max Verstappen will come to the line. And goes P1 onto pole position with a 1 minute 8.9. I don't see how anyone can possibly beat that today. As Fernando Alonso now jumps up into second place. Uh, Antonio Giovinazzi now goes up to third in the Alfa Romeo. Daniel Ricciardo is up to fourth. Well, not anymore because Valtteri Bottas is up to second. Bottas, though... Three tenths of a second away from Verstappen. Hamilton comes to the line and only goes third and is behind his teammate on the grid at the moment in third place and is three and a half tenths of a second off of Max Verstappen. Charles Leclerc comes to the line and goes fourth in the Ferrari. That's still pretty good. And Carlos Sainz goes fifth. So fourth and fifth for Ferrari. At the moment, that's still pretty good for them, considering the last few races have not been, uh, the last couple, sorry, have not been that great for them. As Pierre Gasly goes all the way up into fourth position, a tenth and a bit ahead of the two Ferraris there. Great, great lap from Pierre Gasly. And at the moment, with six and a half minutes to go, and one final run to go. It is Max Verstappen on provisional pole position by three tenths of a second. As Max Verstappen now starts his final run in Q3, can he deliver the home crowd exactly what they demand, which is a pole position and hopefully a race win tomorrow. As he now comes through turn three, looking fantastic through there. Let's see if he has improved his first sector as Lewis Hamilton should be able to start his lap in time. Yes, he will. Verstappen does not improve his uh, first sector. Charles Leclerc jumps up to fourth place in the Ferrari. We'll see what Gasly can do in response as Carlos Sainz now goes up to fifth in the second Ferrari. So fourth and fifth for Ferrari at the moment. Pierre Gasly, though, goes back up to fourth. So Gasly will be starting from P4. Great for him. As Bottas improves his first sector, Esteban Ocon goes up to seventh. Max Verstappen does a purple middle sector. And he is seven hundredths up on his previous best. As Giovinazzi now goes up to P7 in the Alfa Romeo. Fernando Alonso remains ninth. We'll see what Daniel Ricciardo can do in a moment. As Max Verstappen now comes to the line and goes even quicker to 1 minute 8.8. .8 and surely he will get pole position here. As now Valtteri Bottas comes through turn 13, and Daniel Ricciardo does end up 10th, so Antonio Giovinazzi's P7 on the grid in the Alfa Romeo, what a result for him. Bottas now to the line, and second, does not improve his time, half a second down. Now here comes Lewis Hamilton, Hamilton has to get onto the front row, can he do so? 
Yes, he can. Very close to pole. He was only 0.038 of a second from pole position. So nearly getting the pole at the very end. But it wasn't to be. It was for Max Verstappen. He is on pole for his home Grand Prix. The first Grand Prix here at Zandvoort since 1985. And the Dutch crowd go mental, which of course they're always going to. Max Verstappen, given the layout of this track, and given that it's his home race in such a great position, of course, for the World Championship as well. So it's Max Verstappen on pole, Lewis Hamilton second, Valtteri Bottas third, Pierre Gasly fourth, Charles Leclerc fifth, Carlos Sainz in sixth, Antonio Giovinazzi seventh. What a drive from Antonio. One of the drives of the day, if not the drive of the day, from Antonio. Ocon eighth, Alonso ninth, Ricardo tenth. And then the rest of the order is Russell eleventh, Stroll twelfth, uh, Norris thirteenth. The TV 14th, Sonoda 15th, and then Perez, very shockingly, down in 16th. Vettel, shockingly, as well, uh, in 17th place. Kubitzer 18th, Schumacher 19th, the Mazepin 20th. That is your grid for tomorrow's Dutch Grand Prix. And we are in for a very energetic and hopefully a proper Grand Prix this time.